One, allow me to call to the podium His Excellency Mr. Uhuru Kenyatta, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, President Edgar Sangwalungu, President of the Republic of Zambia, Your Excellency the First Lady, Mama Esther Lungu, the family of our late departed father, Your Excellency Heads of State and Government, the people of Zambia. Allow me, Your Excellency, first and foremost, to bring the condolences of the people of Kenya and also as the chair of the East African community to bring the condolences of the people of East Africa to the family of the late Kenneth Kaunda, and to you, Your Excellency, and through you, to all the people of Zambia. We join you here today to say farewell to one of the last great sons of Africa, a man who committed his entire life to the service not only of the people of Zambia, but to the service of the people of this great continent of Africa. Today, we mourn a father and a man who was willing to sacrifice in order to ensure that justice and right prevailed and stood by for the people of Africa. President Kaunda was not satisfied with the independence of Zambia and he committed himself to ensuring that not only was Zambia free and able to determine her own destiny, but he also committed to lead the struggle to ensure that many other countries on this African continent were able to get justice, were able to get the right to determine their own future. And this at great sacrifice, not only to himself personally, but also to Zambia as a nation. We will remember President Kaunda in Kenya as a great friend and partner of the first president of the Republic of Kenya, Mze Jomo Kenyatta. I remember fondly the many, many moments they shared together, fought and struggled together for this continent. I personally today can say I truly have lost not only a mentor, but a person who greatly inspired me as well. President Kaunda taught us, and this is something that is greatly forgotten, that there is life after high office. He accepted the will of the people of Zambia graciously with humility 
and live the remainder of his life in dignity and in continued service to the people of Zambia through such initiatives as highlighting the case for HIV, his work for children, amongst many other activities of ensuring peace and bringing parties together across the African continent. These are lessons that we should never forget. These are lessons that we shall carry forward. And even as we say goodbye to this giant of Africa, we say goodbye to his mortal remains, but his spirit shall live with us for a very long time to come. Today, we say goodbye to a father. We wish him the peace of Christ. We wish him the comfort of eternal rest together with all those who have gone before him. We pray for his soul and we remain committed today and going forward to not only his call of one Zambia, one nation, but also the spirit of Pan-Africanism, the unity of the African continent and her people, and our ability to be able to continue to struggle for justice on our continent as we move on and live the legacy that these great men of Africa have left behind for us. Rest in peace, Father. Rest in peace, our leader. May God give his family comfort and may God comfort the people of Zambia in this most difficult time. Thank you very much. Thank you, Your Excellency. Before we have the final speech from the host president, who is our president of Republic of Zambia, a combined defense and security choir, a short song. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>